We are here in Bowie's Creek, North Carolina for an amazing matchup, midweek action between the ECU Pirates and the Campbell Camels. I forgot to record an intro as soon as we got here, so let's take you back about an hour or so to pregame and look at how we were setting up for this midweek action. One of the great things they have here in Bowie's Creek is the Campbell Creek Dog, which from my understanding is homemade coleslaw chopped up, a little bit of crispy fried onions, barbecue sauce, and then the rest is just hot dog, baby. So we're gonna try it out, see how it goes. Not only is there a ton of flavor and all the extracurriculars, but the fundamentals of this hot dog really set this apart. Just pure hot dog, like the meat on a hot dog prepared perfectly. The bun's good, lots of flavor. Highly recommend the pre dog.
feel bad. <laughs> I spent my whole life trying to throw a 95. Right, that's what, that's what all of our guys say. And you just get up there and do it. So we are here with Grant Nip because I forgot to do the introduction, but we're doing it now. And Grant, you are the closing pitcher. You're the starting catcher. You're the home run hitter. Yes. Today, you go one for three with the sacrifice fly and then a big three-run bomb. Insane. Then you get on the mound and you collect your first collegiate save. What was that like? It was awesome. Definitely something I'll remember forever. Uh, definitely wasn't expecting to go in there being up by one run. Um, just I expected to have an appearance whenever we were up by a lot of runs. Um, but I'm glad they had the confidence in me because I had the confidence in myself. Absolutely. Now, having that confidence in yourself, that's a huge thing to have as a pitcher. And usually for pitchers, it takes years and years of time to get to that point. How do you find confidence on the mound as someone who just started doing it? Um, you know, I used to pitch like back in high school, um, so I have a little bit, a bit, a little bit of experience on the mound. Um, so I think just kind of going back to the roots of that and find just being able to have the confidence to go up there and attack the zone and just know I have good stuff and try to get hitters out. Absolutely, it definitely worked. And of course, this being your first situation, you mentioned you think it's going to be one of those lopsided games. It's a safe situation for your first time going out there. Right. What, what's your review of coming into a game in a safe situation? What was it like? Uh, yes, walking out of the bullpen, I was, I was amped up. Uh, a little bit of nerves, uh, definitely walking out there. But once I got collected that first out, nerves kind of settled down a little bit and was able to get out of it. Okay, now you're one of the few people who can have an actual legitimate answer to this, and you collected both answers in one day. You've hit a home run, you've collected a save. Which one feels better? Ooh, um, that's a tough one. I'm definitely <laughs> going to go with the save, though, just because we got the, we got the W. Respect, respect. I'm with you there. Yeah. I, I never hit a home run, yeah. but sure would like to. Right. But So you started in the fall, of course, October was when you really made your return back to the mound. Right. And that all started on scout day, from what I understand, or when did that start for um, you? Actually, it was about four or five days before scout day. Okay. Um, I felt good throwing down the second, so I was like, you know what, I'm going to go down to the bullpen and throw a few and see what I can do. Um, and I was up to 95.8 in the bullpen, and then a few days later, it was up to 98 at scout day. So it's kind of crazy how quick it turned around, but it was awesome. Well, hey, I'm glad for it because it is a lot of fun to watch. Grant, thank you so much for taking the time. It was thank a pleasure you. I really to appreciate watch it. you. Coach Hare, huge yeah. win, of course. Big in-state rivalry game. What were the emotions like in the dugout? What was the feeling of the team like? Honestly, man, like our guys were, were into it. They were competitive. <laughs> I don't think I, – I don't want to say – um, I don't think there was a bunch of nerves. I think it was like they, they like that. They like the, the big atmosphere. They like the sold out crowd. They like playing in big stadiums and in tight games. They, they kind of embrace that. And so it was a lot of fun being in there with those guys, man. They, they give me confidence because I start to get a little tense. <laughs> Absolutely. And, you know, 36 college guys, they'll keep you loose. They'll <laughs> no find doubt. a way. 100%. I mean, they might get under your skin, but they'll keep you <laughs> loose too in those times. And no doubt. When you got a catcher who can catch the whole game, come in get on the mound, get a save for you. Yeah. What was the thought process like with that, with getting Grant on the mound for the, for the ninth here, one run lead, first save situation presents itself? Yep, yep. We felt, you know, we felt good, and we were looking for opportunities this weekend to get him out there, and, and just nothing ever kind of came together. And so we felt like we had a weapon there at the end, and, and uh, we needed a zero in the ninth. Whether we would have scored in the eighth or not, we needed a zero in the ninth. And so it was like, hey, man, it, it kind of worked out perfect. He had just hit. Um, he had just hit the, the inning before, and uh, so we got a chance to get him down there in the bullpen. And Andy Schultz came in behind the plate and did a tremendous job as well, um, handling him and some big misses and a block there that, that kept runners at bay. Um, man, felt really good about those guys in that matchup. Yeah, and you got to think with Grant on the mound. Did, did you hear him go, hey, nice block, man. Good job out there. You know, <laughs> yeah. good fundamentals. That's it. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> now, another thing, just looking at your guys' schedule, early in the season, you guys are like, hey, let's uh, – Let's go through the gauntlet. What is that? What does that stem from? Why do you guys schedule so tough early on in the season? Yeah, well, you know, I, I think I, I never want to look up and 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 you know, as we get to the end of the season, I never want to look up and and think, well, if we would have just scheduled harder, if we would have built a, a bigger you know, strength of schedule on the non-conference side of things. Maybe we would have had a chance to keep playing. I never want to. I never want to do that. If we get beat, we get beat. But it's not going to be. 
nobody's going to tell us that we can't keep playing because we didn't schedule a hard enough schedule. And I think that that's only fair for our guys, and they want that and they embrace that. I think that's what they expect out of our program. And, and so we're going to continue to do that and, and try to push us forward. And quite honestly, our, our guys enjoy that. And, and, and that's part of the reason they come here. They want to get challenged and they want to get better. Absolutely. Campbell Baseball, you know the meat wagon is here for the strength, and you know Coach Hare is here for the strength of schedule. Coach Hare, thank you so Appreciate much for taking it, man. the time. Thank you. That's a good one. <laughs>